Hello everyone, welcome to Mojo for Industry Presents Digital Dialogue on a transformative initiative that promises to redefine the energy landscape of our country. That is PM Surya Ghar Mook Bijli Yojana Opportunities and Challenges. I am Subjit Roy and I will be your host for today's session. We are thrilled to have you all with us as we delve into the intricacies of this groundbreaking scheme. So today's session is powered by EC India Energies, one stop shop for solar solutions. The PM Surya Ghar Mukt Bijli Yojana aims to provide free solar electricity to households across India, bringing sustainable energy solutions to millions. This initiative is not just a step towards cleaner energy, but also being touted as a giant leap towards energy independence and economic empowerment. Today, we have an exceptional panel of experts who will guide us through the various opportunities this scheme presents and the challenges it may face. They bring a wealth of knowledge and experience from diverse fields, including renewable energy, policymaking, and sustainable development. Without further ado, let me introduce our distinguished panel today. So, we are thrilled to join by Mr. Subramaniam Pulipaka, who is the CEO of National Solar Energy Federation of India, that is NACFI. Then we have Mr. Cecil Augustine, who is the National Head Sales and Marketing for Adani Solar. And Mr. Amit Arokar, who is the Founder and Managing Director at EC India Energies. As well as Mr. Avijit Sina, who is the National Program Director, Ease of Doing Business, Project Director, National Highways for EV. President Charge Point Operator Society of India, can I ask all of you to share your one-liner statement on why PM Surya Ghar Mukt Vijli Yojana is going to be a game changer, starting with Abhijit sir. Why one-liner is, it is an inclusive campaign. It is not a political campaign. It is a campaign of everybody's need. It's a campaign of India's need to become independent in solar energy. So, sir. sir. So India is going to get sun plucked and uh, the real sunshine days are ahead for everyone of us, inclusive of everyone. I mean, I'm, I, I, I mean to say everyone, not only for vendors or uh, 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 pure this thing, for complete uh, 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 a gamut of, uh, uh, of, of uh, beneficiaries in that. Yeah. Wonderful, sir. Sun is shining bright. Uh, Super Avenue, sir. Well, at the risk of repeating our uh, rooftop awareness campaign slogan, I, the reason why I think the PM Suregar will be successful is because everyone in the country will realize that the Kharkiv per solar is super and they can save money from it. Wonderful, wonderful. Very well taken. Amit sir? Yeah, it's a, it's our a tagline itself, EC India's tagline. Right? It's meant to be successful only because it's starting for everyone. Uh, to kick off our discussion, I would like to invite Mr. Subramanio. Uh, to share his opening remarks on the objectives of PM Surya Ghar Mukt Bijli Yojana and how it aims to provide free electricity using solar energy to households. I think, uh, like you rightly mentioned, the PM Surya Ghar scheme of Bijli Yojana is a step in the direction uh, that aims at increasing our rooftop installations with a target of uh, uh, 10 million, which is one crore uh, rooftops in next two to three years. On the incentive that is given to consumers to switch to solar, the way now we have seen that compared to the first phase and second phase of rooftop scheme that is risky, uh, today the subsidy per kilowatt has been substantially increased. And there has been many surveys, including a couple of recent ones, which show that if at all there is to be reduction in the rooftop segment in India, major chunk of it comes from 1 to 3 kilowatt and by the virtue of installing solar you are able to uh, you know become a break even in 2 to 3 years and you will get free power from that so that is uh, another dimension which is driving the scheme today uh, I think uh, this scheme is one a step in right direction uh, to ensure that our rooftop segment also kicks off and second it is also making each of our citizens and our consumers uh, part of our fight against climate change because today our target in the interim is 2030 but we have a bigger target for 2070 which is net zero for achieving net zero we would require one of the studies says we would require 5600 gigawatt of solar so this is this is like the foundation 
which will take us closer. Of course, we will achieve our 2030 targets. We are very optimistic about it, but also closer to our needs. I will pause here and uh, and bring it back. A payback period of two to three years is huge uh, for end users at the end of the day. So uh, uh, I would request Mr. Cecil Augustine to just you know uh, start with his uh, opening remark on the opportunities or rather uh, no objectives of PM Surya Ghar Mukti Bijli Yojana and how it aims to provide electricity using solar energy to households. Cecil, sir. Now, the opportunity which we calculate is uh, almost 30 gigawatt because uh, you are talking about 1 crore houses and uh, to, if you average uh, 3 kilowatt also, it's coming around 30, uh, 3 giga, 30 gigawatt of opportunity. So, from a 3 gigawatt till cumulative in rooftop residential, Going to 30 gigawatt in a single scheme is something like phenomenal. So that not only gives um, a huge uh, jump in terms of overall um, activities in the country in terms of solarization of residential rooftops and uh, moving to completely to the green energy, but also on, on the other side, the economic perspective. This is this can give around uh, employability, employability to around 17 lakhs people in the country. That is something amazing uh, which a uh, uh, country at this juncture is giving a single opportunity uh, uh, to the level of 17 lakhs so uh, overall this is going to be a historic um, initiative and uh, hence we will also uh, as, a, as a part of this entire journey will be also uh, remembered or will be also uh, part of this entire noble initiative that we can also cherish for the years to come that's a wonderfully said, sir, that it's going to be a kind of historic uh, you know, uh, policy that's going to change the life of uh, uh, the entire citizens of the uh, of this country. So thank you so much for that, sir. So before I uh, uh, come back to you with the employability of 17, uh, let, let, let me take the opening remarks from Mr. Amit. So Mr. Amit, how do you look at this PM Surya Ghar Mukti Vijay Yojana? I remember the day when it, the meeting was there uh, in the MNRE and they, they asked us uh, how we can penetrate the this, uh, rooftops in the residential sector in rural areas. Uh, that time I remember the Tarun Kapoor team from the PMO was there and we had given the three suggestions to them. The one from suggestion that system should be very easy, a standard operating processes at this farm should be very easy. Second, uh, then uh, uh, the financing from the PSU or any financial institute should be easy. Like to, uh, as you buy the motorcycle uh, at home, uh, it is very easy to buy a motorcycle with the EMI basis. And thirdly, uh, we suggested that it should be a VR, it should be a mission in the country like Swachh Bharat Abhiyar uh, with the name PM in front of it. Uh, and it was uh, immediately implemented by those people. I really appreciate their efforts. Currently, the, the various uh, meetings at the strong levels, there were ministry levels are going on. I continue suggestion for the improvement. As the sir said, there, there are challenges. We will talk about the challenge. There are a number of challenges because the target is huge. In last seven years, we just uh, achieved seven, uh, 6.94 lakhs uh, residential homes. And now in next three years, we want to achieve one crore. So the target is very uh, huge and uh, very steep to climb but definitely the all uh, efforts from all the stakeholders from product from manufacturers from uh, industry from policy makers from installers and uh, just one tour is the initial stage it's a pilot project you may say right uh the i was uh, got through some survey at uh, the uh it been the, at the subordinate cent for 500 gigawatt uh, the 50 percent of home will be solarizing Future in next years. So, market is huge, opportunity is huge, and it's a great initiative, a great kick off by the ministry with this points. Right. So, uh, great to uh, Mr. Amit uh, for terming this particular, you uh, know, uh, BM uh, Surya Garmukti Vijli Yojana as uh, not as uh, another scheme, but it's a kind of mission for the entire country and it's going to benefit more than 26 crore of households. So, since uh, you were talking about the employability of uh, 17 lakh. Uh, no people. So, uh, do you have any kind of you know uh, figures that what kind of uh, jobs it's going to create? If you can just uh, give us the sector-wise or other category-wise uh, figures. 
I'm talking about the entire ecosystem required for this entire uh, this thing. Now, uh, we are, uh, if you're talking about 30 gigawatt opportunity in the DC or domestic content requirement, the cell has to be made in India. And uh, for that, we need a complete uh, 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 gamut of uh, uh, manufacturing in the country happening uh, in terms of solar ma panel manufacturing, in terms of cell manufacturing, in terms of the accessories manufacturing. Uh, now, that is one segment. And no now coming to the uh, the other uh, uh, logistics-related uh, opportunities like carrying and forwarding, stocking, warehousing, then uh, at the ground, uh, uh, of course, the installation. This figure is around 16 to 17 lakhs uh, job opportunities in the country. So this is not only the, uh, the installation uh, on the roof we are taking as account. The complete ecosystem required for this entire uh, program, uh, starting from manufacturing till the execution. That's what uh, I mentioned this figure. Uh, this thing. Oh, we are privileged to join by Mr. Avijit Sinaji. Uh, welcome, sir. We were discussing about the you know, challenges uh, for uh, implementation of P PM Surya Ghar Mukht Vijil Yojana. So, uh, for, uh, we'd like to understand from you, sir, we always talk about high initial cost of solar panel installation as well as security fund and subsidies for widespread adoption can be potential challenge. So, could you, what's your take on this particular aspect, if you can tell us? Um, see, anything which is more feasible from the climate side or which is making sustainable, today, if you look at the variations of adoption uh, alternatives at level, majority of them, they are capital intensive. As of now, we had one option which is not capital intensive in terms of installation, and in the first beginning development, the world would have gone behind it. So it is something which has the largest curve of uh, development. India has missed one of the bus, one of the opportunity of becoming a solar manufacturing country. And that happened due to lack of clarity in the previous government. If you will see 10 years back before 2014, you will not see a conversation in India about manufacturing of solar plants. Over a period of time since 2014 to 2024, if you will look at this tenure, it has a gist of understanding and gist of making things possible the way it has to deliver. We could only do a basic manufacturing mock-up to create and build companies who can manufacture good solar plants here. And second, we can do a couple of, you know, policy-driven initiatives, couple of work which are required for policies to tilt the entire decision-making process, bringing private capital, government capital together to take large projects. Now, large projects are not only large corporates or large power, power no, uh, solar power plants. Large projects who have large number of goals. Because now, you will look the third term of the government, in this term, majority of the numbers which are coming up, a majority of the aspirations from the government and private side is coming, is coming from the availability of technology, product and solution in India. Second, it is coming from the policy which was required for financing them to upholding them in a way that we can leap forward. And if you leap forward, then you have to make it a mission. You can So in this coming time, you can see that not only on the large corporate side or large buildings or large institutions, you will also see MSME. And moreover, what you are discussing today is people will get attached to it, attached to that mission. Yeah. Even individual will have to have an ease of doing solar. So ease of doing solar would not be possible until unless you have a very, you know, uh, augmented, a very well designed, well oiled machinery to cater to you know, somebody who is just raising their hand and saying, okay, I want to convert to solar. Who is going to give me money? Who is going to do the installation? Who is going to do the assessment? These all need to be kept ready. Right. And if they all are ready, then people and more and more people will join the initiative. Wonderful. Sir. Now, uh, you all understand the PM Surya Ghar Mukt Vijay Yojana. It presents uh, numerous opportunities as our panelists were talking about that can drive economic growth. One. Environmental sustainability, as Mr. Subramanian was talking about, and social development, as everyone mentioned, like Mr. Amit Sheshilzer, as well as Subramanian Ji. 
Right. Great. So, uh, thank you all for your active participation in today's digital dialogue on a transformative initiative that promises to redefine the energy landscape of our country. PM Surya Gharmukh Vijili Yojana Opportunities and Challenges brought by EC India Energies. Hello viewers, I'm Neha Wagle. If you liked watching this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. And make sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us so you never miss any of the latest industrial news from around the country and the world. Stay connected with us and keep watching Mojo for Industry for all the latest updates.